What's up, JFusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So, I have quite a bit of downtime before I start my next class today. So, anyways, uh, I'm here to talk about some J dramas or Japanese dramas that I have seen recently with multiple tokusatsu actors. So, it's no surprise that, uh, you know, after uh leaving or ha after making a big debut from uh shows like the Kamen Rider or Super Sentai franchises some actors become really really famous and they get to work in primetime dramas and sometimes they get to work with like seniors or juniors who also come from these types of shows so in this video i would like to recommend 5 J dramas, not movies, I have to be clear. So these are like prime time TV shows that contain or feature multiple tokusatsu actors. So I'm not talking about two or three actors, like there are more. Okay. So, and these are relatively new dramas that I've watched that uh, I've seen like within the past year or so. And I'd like to recommend them to you guys. So, with that said, these are some of, uh, or these are five uh, Japanese dramas with multiple tokusatsu actors in them. So, uh, I hope uh, you uh, can find these uh, dramas and enjoy them on your own leisure. But I will give you some, like, uh, summaries or uh, the overall story. But, anyways, let's go. So first off, I would like to recommend Kimi no Hana ni Naru. So it's a drama about a struggling idol group called Bloom, which is spelled with an 8 instead of the letter B. So, uh, so a struggling idol group called Bloom and how their uh, dormitory caretaker or matron uh, helps them succeed. So... The lead actor in this drama is Fumiya Takahashi, a.k.a. Aruto Hiden, from Kamen Rider Zero One. So, he is the leader of Bloom, and another member of Bloom is played by Tsuna Keito, or Keito Tsuna, rather, who was Ryuso Blue in Ryu Soldier. So, the next two actors that I'm going to mention are not technically actors that you see on screen but they're rather tokusatsu voice actors which are also featured on the show so first is mamoru miyano so Mian, uh, mamoru miyano is the definitive voice of ultraman zero and he has played death Duger in uh, you soldier the movie so he is bloom's manager and also was a former idol himself according to the story and uh, Yuki Kaji also appears as a guest star in one of the episodes. And he is Mamoru's boyfriend in that uh, show. So yes, they are a gay couple. So everybody knows uh, Yuki Kaji as the voice of Eren Yeager in the Attack on Titan series. But in Tokusatsu, he played uh, Gaon, aka Zen Zenkai Gaon, in Kikai Sentai Zenkai -Jer. Now, there's also another uh, Super Sentai actor who appears in this show, albeit uh, more of a guest character and also appears in a flashback. So, Masashi Ikeda from uh, King Oger also appears as a former member of Bloom. So, originally Bloom had eight members, uh, but one of them quit. So, this member who quit was uh, Masashi Ikeda, so his character rather. So at least there are five uh, in that show. So moving on, so we have Akai Dingo. So this one is uh, rather raunchy. So I highly recommend that you watch this in your own privacy and don't let anyone, uh, you know, see you watching this. So uh, you, so you probably uh, could guess what I'm talking about here. So. Uh, yeah, it does contain some scenes that you understand are of that 
adult nature, but uh, rather softened for TV. So the main star of uh, Akai Ringo is Ryo Komiya, aka uh, Kirame Red from Kira Major. Another Kira Major star who appears as a major character is Yume Shinjo, so Kirame Green. Now, if you want to see uh, Kirame Red and Kirame Green kind of get it on on screen, so this is where you would see them do that. So uh, another uh, major character uh, in this uh, show is played by Asuka Kawazu, who was uh, Mei Sudo from Kamen Rider Saber. So to put it simply, like they're in a love triangle, you know. So Kirame Red, uh, Kirame Green, and uh, Mei from uh, Kamen Rider Saber. Yeah. So other tokusatsu actors include uh, Wada Soko or Soko Wada, who was uh, another G uh, another zero one or uh, yeah. So another right. He was another. He was an another writer in uh, the Heisei Reiwa team up movie, and he was also in Don Brothers as uh, Don Momotaro's adoptive father. So y you can say in a way he's also a dad to another sentai red because he does play uh, Ryo Komiya's dad in this show. So another female green ranger who is featured in this show is Sakurako Okubo so uh, from uh, Q Ranger. So yeah uh, both green females in the sentai in the super sentai series appear in the same show and would you know it uh, Masashi Ikeda also appears in this show, uh, you know, uh, as a semi-recurring character, and he's shown to be quite obsessed with Asuka's character. So, yeah, uh, he also appears in this uh, show. So moving on for our third show, uh, it's called Watashi no Hana Yomi-kun. So the main actor here is Mahiro Takasugi, aka um, Mitsuzane... Uh, Kureshima, aka Kamen Rider Ryugen from Kamen Rider Gaim. So, uh, what's interesting about his character is that uh, he has two older brothers. So, the eldest brother is played by uh, Terunosuke Takezai, who was uh, Kotaro Shirai in Kamen Rider Blade. So, uh, you probably uh, wouldn't remember him that much because he's, uh, well, he is a major character, but. Uh, he doesn't transform, but he owns the house where uh, Kamen Rider Blade and most of the other board members uh, came to stay with, uh, came to stay at after they lose their homes and they lose, they lose board. So Kotaro's house becomes their base of operations. So he's the owner of that house. So the second brother is played by Yuta Furukawa, who was Kamen Rider G. Deno. So yeah, so the three brothers are played by actors who come from Kamen Rider, uh, for, who come from the Kamen Rider series. And another Kamen Rider who appears in this show is Kentaro Maeda, aka Kamen Rider Revi from Kamen Rider Revise. So he is uh, Mahiro's work junior here. So. You know, uh, Mahiro is the senpai, uh, Kentaro is the kohai, so that's how it works. So next, so we have Terma no Ryori. So it's a cooking show which features like a genius, a math genius who kind of is in a slump. But he is discovered by a famous chef because this, you know, math genius also happens to be good at cooking and uses his math intellect to come up with the best possible dishes. So our main character is played by Fumia Takahashi, who I've mentioned earlier in the very first entry of this uh, video. So yes, uh, he appears twice. <laughs> I, I, I mentioned him twice as a main actor. Well, Masashi Ikeda is more of a side <laughs> or recurring actor. But yeah, so another Fumia Takahashi lead role. And it, his co-act so one of his co-actors so is jun shison 
So from the uh, talk future, so he's Tokyo Ichigo. So, uh, so Fumiya Takahashi is the math genius, and uh, Jun is the Jun Shison is the uh, famous chef who discovers him. So other uh, characters are played by the following actors. So uh, Rihito Itagaki from Kamen Rider Go. So he's one of the chefs working at the same restaurant with uh, Fumia and Jun. So Mitsuhiro Oikawa from Kamen Rider uh, GP, Kamen Rider Grand Prix, the movie. So he was Kamen Rider uh, Sango. So he was with Kamen Rider Drive. Yeah. So he's the principal of the school where um, Fumiya's character used to study. So another uh, tokusatsu actor you will see here is uh, Mitsumi Takahashi, aka Boken Red from uh, Gogo Sentai Bokenger. So he's one of, uh, I guess, uh, Jun's uh, patrons. Uh, you will easily see him because he usually is shirtless when he appears on the screen. Yeah. Uh, he, he claims to be a messy eater, so he takes off his shirt before eating. So, yeah, you know it's him. And, well, I'm not uh, sure if she counts. If you count Tokusatsu Gagaga ga ga as a Tokusatsu show, but I see more, uh, I see it more as a parody than an actual Tokusatsu show. But, she also appears in uh, uh, Parahiro Grandine. So, Fuka Oshiba. So, she's one of, she's also one of the chefs working at Jun's restaurant. So, yeah. So, those are the tokusatsu actors in Terma no Yori. And, last video or the, the last show that I'm going to mention in this, uh, or the last show that I'm going to mention in this video, rather. I'm sorry. So, this is Poketto ni boken wo tsumeko, bo, boken wo tsumekonde. So, it is a drama based on the Pokemon franchise. Uh, take note, there are no Pokemon that appear in this show, but there are a lot of references to the Pokemon franchise. So, it's basically about a young woman whose life is kind of shaped by how she played uh, Pokemon games, especially the first gen. So, uh, so our lead actress uh, for this uh, drama is Nanase Nishino. So, she recently played the Hachi Augment, aka the Wasp Lady, in Shin Kamen Rider. So, uh, it's her story. So, uh, some of her, uh, a couple of her workmates are uh, played by tokusatsu actors as well. First is Ryoseki Gucci, who played Stacy in uh, Kikai Sentai Zenkaiger. And uh, another one is Tomuha Tomoharu Hasegawa, who played Kamen Rider Ginpen in Kamen Rider Geats. So, uh, what's interesting is that uh, Nana says character is loosely based on red so she plays pokemon red so her rival is called green so uh so this green rival is played by Ryo uchida who was uh kiriko uh, chijima in kamen rider drive so the lead uh, heroine of kamen rider drive and lastly although he's more of a uh, he's a guest actor for one episode then Kiriyama, aka Shotaro Hidari, from Kamen Rider Double appears. Uh, I believe it was episode 8. So, yeah. Uh, these are just some of the J dramas with, again, multiple tokusatsu actors uh, featured in them. This is not an exhaustive list. So, this, these are not all of them, uh, obviously. And uh, if you just do a bit more research you will find a ton more of uh, you know japanese dramas that have multiple tokusatsu actors in them uh, but these are just five of those dramas that i've watched uh, in recent times again so sometime within the past 365 days so 
if you have other J drama recommendations that feature many tokusatsu actors in the same show, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!